Blessings to each and everyone. Yes, people, sorry about that. Young lady that you just see on the thumbnail here just now, her name is Tarana Clark. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Tarana Clark. A member of the Reggae Girls Jamaican soccer team. Her life was cut short by her friend who stabbed and killed her over a cell phone or for a cell phone which the friend allegedly gave to her and came back for it. <laughs> yeah. She stabbed her with a knife over the cell phone. I want to tell you something. It, it, it hit me so hard today when I was watching the video clip, the video on Teach Them channel. It hit me hard. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is someone that represent Jamaica. She represent her country. The same people who she represent, country and people, is the same people that kill her. Yeah. I was so pissed today. I cussed some bad word today. I'm telling you. When I heard it. I think I've seen it yesterday first or the day before. I think she died maybe a couple of days now. Or between a day, two days, three days. I'm about something like that. I didn't really look at it, I just go through it. I didn't read the title or anything. And it's tonight I sit down and check it going on YouTube and see it on Teach Them channel and start to listen to it. How cruel can one be to another? A female who bring forth life can kill another female who does the same thing as her. Hmm? Where did you get the cell phone from that you give to your friend? Sometimes we do things out of hype because we want to look important. We want to be talked about. We want to feel a part of the group. So we do things For some people, vanity is what makes them. They're nothing without the vanity. So wherever she gets the cell phone from, whether she steal it, whether it's hers, you know, should she give it to her friend? And you came back for it with a knife. Hmm? You came back for it with a knife. And you stabbed your friend to death. Someone who has their whole life ahead of them. Future is there, ready. Who knows what team she was going to end up playing for after she get drafted into the international stage out there. Played for some other clubs in Europe and places like that. So we can say, yes, another one of ours out there doing it big, keeping us on the map, making us feel proud, 
throughout all that we're going through back home and what's happening, we have people out there trying to uplift. And we're going to turn around and kill them. Hmm? We're going to turn around and kill them. You know many people who have friends who are on the international stage and their friends take care of them real good? I really would like to know what was the reason, what is the cause of you coming back for that cell phone? Not only coming back, but why did you bring a knife? Was there an argument between you and her before? What happened? Because you guys are friends. Female. And you kill your friend like that over an iPhone, something that can be replaced. Something that if you take her as a good friend and she take you as a good friend, the future, sky's the limit. Give me a second, people. Sky's the limit. And you kill your friend. But I tell you, each and every one of you out there who are doing these things to people, go get it back. And I wish the same way you take out someone, you get taken out the same way by another. My wish for out some man who kill babies and rape babies and stuff like that is for them to get their dick cut off, for them to be tied upside down, staring at that picture of whosoever you kill until your eyes bulge out of your head. For the females, <laughs> the way how I got the graphic things that I, you know, especially for this female who killed this young lady, From one who killed another. Hmm? The things I hope and I wish that they do to you when you go to prison ain't normal. Ain't normal. The things that I hope. Because people in jail, you know, they want to come out so bad. And then when you come in there, worse, you have some people inside there who may check for this young lady who may respect her and know that she's playing for the country and put her up on a pedestal and proud of her. And you, good for nothing, low life. No ambition. I wish you nothing but the worst thing on hurt. Nothing but the worst for what you do, for what you did to that young lady, take her life away, take her away from her family, her friends, take her away from her country. That's not a regular person. These people that represent their country are not just regular people. They go out there and try to put their country on the stage in every which way that they can away from murdering people. If it's sports, they're out there representing. If it's music, they're out there representing. If it's art, they're out there representing. Whatever it is, they're out there representing. We are supposed to look at them in a different light. So you're trying to tell me that you same boat? Well, he ain't too far. The same thing can happen to him too. Veronica Campbell, Shelley and Fraser, all of them. It's a bounty killer get robbed a couple of months ago, a couple of years ago. So nobody no different. We don't respect the people who are iconic, the people who are doing things to keep the name of where we're from, the country, on the stage. We don't appreciate that.
we don't. A jealous friend. Jealous friend. Stop that a friend now. For a cell phone. It ain't over no damn cell phone. Because if you really love her and give her that cell phone, you didn't want it back. Unless you steal it from someone and your ass is in trouble, so you want it back. The other day they talked, they, we had Eros Day back home in Jamaica. And I heard someone was talking about where the modern days Eros, where are they? People are not recognizing the ones that are living now. The people who are setting a mark. They're not getting recognition as zero. We're still talking about the old ones. So we don't recognize the Chris Gale and all these Usain Bolt and all these other people who are doing good. We don't recognize them as heroes. I guess because maybe they didn't fight through slavery and do something like that. But there's different ways of becoming an hero. And we have ones down there that our grandchildren and their children are going to read about. This young lady that killed this girl, her children, if she have any, nieces and nephews, if she have any, aunts and uncles, if she have any, whatever, when they find out, or the younger ones when they grew up, and read history book. And to know that a reggae girl's number eight, whatever her name, Tarana Clark, was stabbed to death by, and when they realized, but that's my aunt, or that's my mom. You're gonna be in history for being the murderer. You're gonna be in the history book for being the murderer. But like I said, I wish that when you end up in prison, they rip you from limb to limb. I wish that your life is a living hell for what you did to that community, those people, the girl's parents, her family. I wish all of you who do bad things, who kill and rape and all them things, and nothing but the worst thing on the face of God's hurt. On the days coming. On the days coming. I'm trying my best not to swear and not to cuss and carry on. I'm trying my best. I'm holding it. People who represent, represent their country, they are supposed to be treated with respect. They are supposed to be put on high. They represent their country. They are supposed to be treated with respect. Our own legends and heroes and, you know, idols and stuff like that, we're killing them. We are the ones that's taking them out. You take your friend's life over a cell phone. Cell phone. R.I.P. to Tirana. Clark. I really hope I'm pronouncing the name right, but I know I'll put up. I know I will put it up on the title correctly. It hurts. And if I feel this way, just imagine what the mother or her father or her neighborhood or friends are going through right now. But I'm going to cut it short and then we'll go no further. There's another killing I heard about. This other little girl, actually, I was watching. Ashanti 360 is live program 
and he was interviewing this lady or talking to this lady who lost a daughter 22 years old by her boyfriend who is 62 or 65 or 67 who take her life. God is good and without him we are nothing. I know without him I am nothing. If I didn't have God, I don't know what I, where I would be or what I would have do, be doing. But I keep holding on because I'm going to tell you something. None of us is perfect. And God is still working on me. I pray each and every day that evil and wickedness stay away from me. Stay out of my path and leave me be. I pray for that. And I pray for peace and love over each and every one each and every day of your life. God is good. Peace. How can I help speak on this channel? This is Murphy.